in with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? This book is being read with permission from Simon and Schuster. Too Much Stuff by Emily Gravid. In a tree that was taller than all the rest, Meg and Ash were busy building a nest. They built it from mud and from grass and from sticks, and they dreamed that one day they would fill it with chicks. Then lastly, to keep it all cozy and clean, they lined the whole thing with an old magazine. It wasn't that long before they had laid four perfect eggs in the nest that they'd made. But looking around, they worried their nest needed more stuff to make it the best. And so while one of them stayed behind, the other flew off to go and find the extra things that they agreed their chicks were really going to need. At first, they brought back little stuff. Two ornamental cuckoo clocks, four tiny socks, and a pack of plastic pegs in shades of blue to match their eggs. But still, it didn't seem enough. And so, they got some bigger stuff. A teddy abandoned by a bin, the bin, and everything within. Better, they said, but not quite enough. Our perfect eggs deserve more stuff. Meg got some lights for when it got dark. Ash got a stroller from a nearby park. They nabbed a bucket and a mop, a brush, a broom. They could not stop. They wondered if each chick would like to one day learn how to ride a bike. And even though it took a while, the bikes got added to the pile. After that, they'd need a car, which may have been a step too far. As when they went and brought one back from the nest, they heard a crack. Down fell the bikes, one, two, three, four, quickly followed by much more. The car came crashing down on top, followed by the brush and mop. The shiny bucket and the lights came clattering down from the heights. The fancy stroller that they'd brought back hit the ground with quite a smack. Falling fast, the poor lost red landed hard upon his head. On top of him bumped the bin, its contents now outside, not in. The clocks came falling mid-cuckoo, just as they were striking too. And sailing down beside the clocks came the pair of baby socks. Finally, the plastic bags came falling down upon their... Eggs! Where are our eggs? The magpie stopped and looked around at all the things strewn on the ground and cried, It didn't seem enough, but look at all this useless stuff. They lifted off the plastic pegs, but still they couldn't find their eggs. And so the whole wood set about trying to dig their poor nest out. The lights got pegged up in a tree so all the animals could see. The bikes got taken back and left at the scene of their theft. The teddy was given by the bugs to someone who would give him hugs. The cuckoo clocks made quite superb homes for all the smaller birds. And the socks made very nice cozy beds for baby mice. The squirrels took the stroller apart and used the bits to make a cart. The car became a fine fox den, big enough to hold all ten. And all the rubbish from the bin was swept back up and put back in. At last, the magpies reached their nest, which was not looking at its best. It's just a heap of shells and sticks, but under that, four perfect chicks. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book.